This is Lenny Farley, Purdue University Extension Forester. Now let's ID that tree. In this edition of ID That Tree, we're going to introduce you to a tree that was one time re relatively common in south central Indiana, but because of an introduced fungal disease has essentially disappeared from the landscape, and that is American chestnut. American chestnut was at one point in time a very common part of our forests in the eastern United States, particularly in the Appalachians, but also extending up into south central Indiana. But a fungal disease from the old world was introduced accidentally uh, in the early 1900s and spread through the tree's range, killing trees far and wide. And so now it's rare to find an American chestnut on the landscape. These trees were planted as an experiment here at Purdue University. American chestnut has alternate leaf arrangement. Simple leaves that are actually quite long, really attractive leaves with parallel leaf veins extending to the edge of the leaf and strongly hooked teeth on the margin of the leaf. Very smooth twigs with rounded buds that uh, the buds gradually turn a little bit darker through the season, get a little bit more reddish brown in color. One of the other characteristics for American chestnut is the fruit. And so this is the husk covering the nuts of American chestnut. As you can see, very spiny. That's because the nuts are highly attractive to a wide variety of wildlife species, which would eat them before they even ripened. And so some protection offered to the nuts inside these spiny holes, we're going to find typically two or three very shiny brown nuts that uh, have an enormous amount of nut meat and great flavor. Good for both wildlife and people. And in some cases, we can get quite heavy crops on American chestnut. It was a very important wildlife tree. However, the chestnut blight rapidly kills American chestnut on the landscape by girdling the upper stems. We do get some re-sprouting from the bases, but ultimately those re-sprouts will also be reinfected with chestnut blight and be killed. So we can very seldom find a large chestnut on the landscape like we used to. And at one point in time, these were some of the largest trees in the eastern United States. The bark on American chestnut on young trees is typically quite smooth, medium gray in color. As the trees get older, we oftentimes will find the bark becoming more platy with stronger ridging running up and down. And we mentioned the blight. This is a fungal disease. We can often find the fruiting bodies. They will often have a rusty color to them. And you can see it girdles the stem and ultimately kills the upper part of the tree. So American chestnut, once a very important part of our landscape, but to a great extent eliminated by an invasive pest. If you'd like to learn more about American Chestnut, you can visit the American Chestnut Foundation website, and they have a lot of great historical and identification information there as well.